Parkinson's disease develops when a particular chemical messenger in the brain, known as dopamine, comes at too low a level. It results in shaking, which we call tremor, and a slowness and difficulty in general movement. Levodopa is the main drug that's used for Parkinson. Levodopa is generally used alongside another medicine, carbidopa. The reason for that is that that ensures that the levodopa gets to the central nervous system, the brain, where the problems actually lie, rather than the levodopa having an effect on the peripheral nervous system. Those are the nerves that are away from the brain and spinal cord, the nerves that go to the hands and feet, say. Levodopa is a chemical building block that the body actually converts to dopamine, which is the thing that is missing or at too low levels in the brain with patients with Parkinson's. Most patients then taking levodopa um, will actually experience quite an improvement in their general movement and mobility, and that's really important for them. Multiple sclerosis is where there's damage to the outer structure of the nerves of the central nervous system. Sometimes, however, the body's own immune system, which of course is designed to protect the body against all sorts of things, notably infection, um, decides to attack itself. And if it attacks the myelin and damages that myelin around nerves, then we get scars or lesions or plaques as they're sometimes called. If you get that sort of scarring around major nerves of the central nervous system, it disrupts the electrical messages that make the nervous system work. So either messages are irregular or slow down or actually don't get through at all. And that's part of what we see in multiple sclerosis. In multiple sclerosis, you often give oral prednisolone, or prednisone is the brand name. Um, prednisone is a medicine that actually dampens down the immune system, so limiting the damage that a faulty immune system might be undertaking on the nerves. Ulcerative bowel disease is a disease involving inflammation in the gut. The predominant early symptom is going to be diarrhoea. That can vary from relatively mild to quite severe. Depending as to where in the gut the ulcerative bowel disease takes place, it can be quite painful. Um, and additional to that, if you've got that sort of illness, there may well be extensive weight loss. Ulcerative bowel disease is typically, at least in the early and middle stages, treated with a salicylate, an aminosalicylate on the whole, to be absolutely correct. Aminosalicylates such as mesalazine uh, act topically, so on the surface of the gut. What they aim to do is to act on the damaged or particularly sensitive parts of the gut so as to relieve the symptoms.